So here we are um, inside a fighter. Let me see something here real quick in there. Try to fix this a little bit. No. Um, trying to. There we go. That's a little better there. Okay, got my head tracking on. Yeah, I'm actually doing a playback on a track. So here we are, we're getting ready to launch off this carrier. And today I'm packing a couple of, um, pretty sure it's GBU 31s. Those are 2,000 pounders. And so a pair of those and a pair of Maverick um, IAFs. So I'm going to be using the targeting pod. I've already flipped it on there. Kind of getting my stuff set up. I think I'll zoom in just a tad here. That's probably pretty good. You can see better. And let's... Yeah, it should be good. Okay, so... Um, and then I have a targeting pod at for targeting pod. What we're going to do is we're going to head on over to... Um, area over in Gaza off in that direction there and we're gonna bomb some stuff because there's some problems going on that uh, we need to solve so okay he's telling me to spin up we're gonna come off the deck here in a moment So normally I usually hit my landing gear switch right after I leave the deck, but for some reason it got stuck. Um, I don't know if I was having a slight controller issue there or if um, maybe it was a malfunction. I think that's all kind of built in here. So Anyway. Alright, so here we are. We're heading over towards our location. And I do have both locations saved as waypoints. So I'll be designating those as targets here. Oh, there we go, so I do that. So if you see there on the app flares display on the right, that's generally where we're heading to. Behind that building that you see there is these guys. So there's this little insurgent camp here and they've got supplies, they've got some APCs, they've got people. They have some AAA. Not that particularly dangerous, but if you're not careful, it could definitely shoot you down with this stuff. Um, and so that's one of the targets we're going to hit is going to be these guys here. And then the other one is this area right here. So got all these like Hezbollah guys in here. They're all from Iran with uh, AK-47s or 74s as the case may be some RPGs, and they're kind of taking shelter in this cluster of buildings. Um, so we have to be careful about how we drop the bomb on this because if we're not careful, we're just gonna hit the buildings and we're not gonna be able to take these guys out. So to do that, my plane, somewhere on here, I think I'm waiting for the map to load. Uh-oh. Okay, we're not gonna wait for the map to load. I'm actually setting up the bombs to be able to drop simultaneously and then strike the target. So looking at this one right here, I'm trying to get a bead on that field that we saw with all the insurgents on it. Ah, excuse me, I was taking a drink there, my head tracking. Okay, so we're waiting to be able to pass our data over to the bomb and then I'm going to pass the data for the 
secondary target, the Hezbollah guys that are between those buildings over to the other bomb. So we're trying to kind of trying to kind of see in there because that's zoomed in all the way on the app flare. I'm trying not to get too close because I don't want to get shot at yet. I'm trying to set up the target. Okay, so it looks like I did pass that data over. I was pretty happy with what I chose. This is the next waypoint. You can see it's obscured by these buildings here. I'm going to turn the volume down just a tad there. Maybe a little bit more. Okay, so I'm trying to get a window in between the buildings to be able to paint the correct coordinates. Because if I hit it now, it's going to paint the coordinates on the side of that building. And we are definitely not going to hit the target we want to hit. So I'm just kind of... See, I, target's right over there. I've got my HMD on. Indispensable. Love it in the um, VR goggles because my right eye has the HMD display on it and my left eye doesn't. So by closing one or the other, I can focus more on with it or without it on if I'm trying to zoom in and see what the hell I'm doing. So looking there, again, you know, there's my wings kind of obscuring the camera for a moment. Or maybe I was passing a cloud. I'm trying to stay below the cloud cover here so I could see stuff accurately. And because I am using inertial guided bombs here, when I release them, I don't need to see them. This right now is just about identifying the targets and then I'll position myself to release them. So I keep noticing here that it's like I can't get because of the other buildings that are even farther away. There's just the angle isn't right to be able to kind of see down in there between those buildings and paint those guys. See, and I'm like, okay, this isn't working. So I'm like, okay, change of plans. Let's bank the craft and basically go almost directly overhead. And I should still be safe from the AAA that's over there off to the left that you see. Um, and be able to see down in there and paint these guys. Now, I may not have done it yet, but I will set that, this particular bomb is actually gonna be set up for a 90 degree terminal um, um, angle on it. So I can get down into those buildings, which means I'm gonna to have to be up nice and high and in a position to where the bomb can actually maneuver and be able to land in between. Okay, oh, we're almost there, so I'm flying watching this closely here and in a moment we'll pass over that building you can see me farting around with the zoom so oh oh we see some bad guys and we see some more bad guys and that's the spot we want and then by now it looks like I just pinged that over to the bomb and it looks like it's already set up for 90 degrees because I knew this going in so at this point I am like get over here I am trying to gain a lot of altitude and then I'm going to circle back and I'm going to release both these bombs and I'll set them up for a simultaneous release. So there I am. Not sure why the map's not working. All right, screw the map. You can see the flak shots. It's too far away for them to be any effect whatsoever. So that's why I wasn't too concerned. Gain a lot of altitude. There we are, we are up to, let me reset my tracker there. We're up to, all right, 18,000 feet, it's pretty good. Now you'll notice down there, right around in this area, that little circle as I turn is gonna get big. It's gonna change too, it's gonna change to kind of an arch type thing. As I level out, that should get bigger, plus I'll also Zoom in a tad on it too. Okay, I'm gonna try to level out, bring the craft back up to level. I lost a lot of speed there, got my stall speed. No biggie. Okay, all right, we're looking pretty good. I'm waiting for this to get a little bit bigger here. Um, I thought I changed this, but I guess I didn't. All right, we're almost in the launch zone. moment those two inboard bombs there on pylons three and seven are going to just go and we're going to track those into the target 
Come on, baby. We're waiting for it. There they go. Alright. Bombs away. So this one looks like he's going for the field. And this one's already turning to get that nice 90 degree angle. And he's going to come right down to the middle of those guys. And this guy's starting to shift too. I don't know which one's going to land first. I think this one. Boom and boom. Oh. I, I actually hit the building, but it is a 2,000 pound bomb, so it looks like I killed everybody that was down there. So let's see, nice strike, uh, a lot of good damage. You see the APCs are starting to move around. Uh, looks like it did hit the fuel depot, uh, so that's pretty good. You can see the impact of the craters right there, and it did a tremendous amount of damage around it there. Um, all right, so what am I doing now? Well. Let's see. We are going to now switch to the Mavericks. So what you're watching me is selecting the Mavericks. Got two of those. And then I'm going to punch the Maverick Seeker head over here. There's some information that's kind of hard to make out there that's caged right now. And my Affleur is over on the right. So the goal here now is to go and highlight a couple of targets. And I'm going to be going for APCs. APCs, I feel, are more of a threat. Um, because it could carry troops in an armored vehicle. It could be carrying all kinds of stuff rather than the stationary, more stationary trailer-based AAA that's down there on the ground that's easier to take out. And is, especially for us, right? I mean, we can take them out from so far away, they're never a threat if we don't. Uh, want them to be. So here I am, I'm starting to approach. Uh, app flare is up. We are going to be looking at a for targets in amongst all the activity back there. So the seeker head's looking where I'm basically looking, but not quite. You still have to pass it over once I get my lock. And there we go, switching modes there. I'm trying to pick out, there's an APC, there he is. So he moved in amongst those people there. So I pass that over, and then in a moment here, that's gonna launch. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, there we go. Oh. oh, there it goes. All right, now we can track it. Kind of think of these as a Hellfire equivalent for fighter jets. Um, uh, I may have launched my second one yet. Oh. So they're trying to shoot it. I'm not sh No, they're trying to shoot at the missile. But they're not going to hit it. Second missile's off the rail. Uh, good luck. And... Boom. Oh, I hit the watchtower. Interesting. So there was a watchtower on the way that saved that APC's ass. But... Uh, this one shouldn't have the same luck. Nope. Nice, excellent hit, destroyed that APC. My plane now, I'm gonna be flying back to base. Uh, wait a minute. Okay, I forgot, yeah, I forgot I left my speed brake on at some point. All right, so looking at this here, and they're still trying to shoot at my plane, it's no point in even trying to watch them, it's, it's pretty pathetic. There, I'm signaling off to the carrier that I'm about to land. Marshal, five, five, six. Mark your mops, zero, eight, four, two, six. Yeah, a lot eight, of flames. Oh, good. I got damage on the shipping containers. That is damaged. That's destroyed. Yep, that's great. Pan around here for a minute. Oh, oh, looks like that one just exploded. And it looks like that one did too, so that's good. Even though the, so the watchtower actually kind of prevented it from being outright destroyed, but this was the one I was thinking of. No, I thought I was aiming at this one. They're still alive, but they're damaged. Alpha 
Altitude. Altitude. Yeah, the guys that were in the building are just toast. There's none of them left. All right, let's see how we're doing here. Still flying with speed brake on. Hey, it's a great way to burn off fuel, right? Meanwhile, back in carrier land, here's our flight strike fleet over here. We got the Truman, we have a number of uh, missile destroyers and cruisers, a couple of attack submarines. Just wait. I don't know where this is. Somewhere more peaceful. I'll have to learn some of these camera controls. This. Feels like it's far from Gaza. All right, moving back. Nearly within 10 miles of the carrier. Almost, you can see that right there. Having problems with my autopilot wanting to stay on. There we are, C with 10. Yep. Well, I noticed that my speed brake was on, so I turned that off. Fuel left. We got our FCS up. We got our course heading laid in. TACANs on. ILS is on for assistant landing. Our, uh, looks like I flipped my flare off to standby. Uh, I haven't got my hook down yet. Carry bypass already on. Skids off, which it was when I launched. Moment, I'm probably going to flip this hook down here so we should see the hook come down on the back. You can kind of see it right there between the engines, kind of sticking up there funny. That's the tail hook. It's just going to catch that cable. It'll probably come down here in a moment. So I ease into my turn, get to the altitude I want, make sure my speed's good, and then I'll flip the hook down. Now, I didn't do a tight enough turn as I wanted to, so I had to do a correction after this, but not the end of the world. I'm still working on the approach turn. Okay, we're gonna start banking in. Uh, any moment now is where I put my tail hook down there. There it goes. All right, hook is down. I should have banked a lot harder. That's the carrier way over there. I am still like, I'm not even like 180 degrees into the turn yet. Let's speed it up. Now when I do that, um, when I'm making this turn here, I'm actually using the ATC to keep my speed at about 350 knots, and I use the barometric altimeter or um, altitude hold to keep maintain about 800 feet. And I will hang on to that until I make my left hand brake. 
um, when I pass the bow of the carrier itself. Go ahead and uh, I'll flip off the ATC. And now, line it up correctly. I don't know why that's still on. I'm just going to kind of screw some of my stuff up. But, uh, all right, checking the deck, make sure it's clear. Runway's looking good. And now, we're going to start our final approach. So, break into the left. Idle the throttles. In a moment, we're going to go ahead and our flaps are going to come down any moment here. Yep, they're already out. We're going to line up basically with the Ticonderoga right there. Landing gear's coming down. And this is where I'm going to have to start working on my trim, making sure that my angle of attack is correct. I've got to fight with the wind a little bit on this one. I probably need to adjust that in the mission editor. Uh, for some reason, my course line is gone, but you know, at this point, I don't really need it anymore. I know my BRC is 44 anyway, and I'm not really going to be watching this anyway. I'm going to be watching. Basically what I'm watching is, is what's out in front of me and what's on the HUD. I'm not even really looking at this uh, that much. I may glance at that angle of attack reading there, but for the most part I'm watching airspeed, altitude, and um, my um, visual on the uh, carrier. But as you know, we're looking for an 8.1 angle of attack for our glide slope. close to as we can get. Got pretty good at this turn now. You know, I used to kind of do this turn and then try to correct the lineup with the, angle, the 10 degree offset of the landing runway, but um, I realized that you just have to just make the turn and include that in it. So I get much, and it actually works a lot better for lining up. I don't feel like I'm too far off like I can feel like sometimes. And then I can focus more on uh, um, getting the correct angle of attack and actually landing in the right spot because we want to catch that third wire. I don't do that here. But I think I get the first one. Okay, I'm not quite lined up perfectly, but I'm actually pretty close. Uh, close enough to make some last minute adjustments. Alright, here we go. We're coming in. Yeah, I see now. Alright. That's okay. I still got a good landing, but he waved me off at the last minute. Yes, I should have pulled back on it, uh, but I didn't. And uh, who cares? Yeah, actually, I did. I care. I really want to actually do this stuff right. But you know what? If you're not overshooting the deck and landing in the sea or otherwise crashing, then you're doing okay. This is funny. I noticed here. I tried to retract the hook, but the cable's actually stuck on it. You see that? That's interesting. I That's a pretty good modeling that they accounted for that that would actually happen. I had to idle the throttles, if I remember correctly. There we go. And let the cable actually... Oh, I had to take off the tow brake. And then the cables were able to pull me back a little bit and drop off. The hook retracted. And now I'll go park over here by the island on that elevator. Yeah. Uh, I should put some more guys out on the deck. It's cool, you can even see the little dudes up here. They don't move or anything, but you don't need them to. It's pretty sweet. You're gonna have to try this, um, change this mission up a little bit and go for a nighttime. Uh, no, not quite for just a tad more. So the hard part is remembering that the wheels are actually just behind where I'm sitting. There we go. There. That looks good. 
That looks good. I've opened the uh, canopy here in a minute. You can see where I am right there, my helmet. In the moment I open the canopy, and we'll see there. I'm back to the throttles. There goes the canopy. So you can basically see that I'm sitting just in front of where the wheels are. So if I look 90 degrees to the right, and I can look down that um, walkway there between the island and the fencing, then I know I'm in a good spot. Of course, in real life, it would probably have somebody guide me in. I could go forward a little bit more if I wanted to. It's not a problem. But, uh, oh, I should have put the wheel chocks on. Anyway, so, yep, good times for me. Not so good times for them. Oh, the fire's finally burned out. Wow. Damn, they lost a lot of stuff by the end of that. All right, cool. And there's my thing. It's a bad management. Vehicles, the people are included in the vehicles. Or units, I should say. So, so yeah, 24 out of 34. Excellent use on this pinpoint strike. Um, yeah, it was a good mission. Had a good landing. Sure, I got waved off. I landed anyway, but I got back down on the deck safely. Good enough for me for now.